الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد One of the conditions for prayer is tahara, is purification. And every Muslim should be aware that it's knowledge, al-mawajib, that's knowledge that every Muslim should know. So we want to see and test the creed of some of our brothers here. Another man, another green. Why they're enjoying their rock throwing activities. Let me ask you, gentlemen. Is, uh, can a person make wudu, uh, or can a person pray without wudu, without washing themselves? Huh? Okay, and does anyone, is anybody aware of any of the proofs? How do you know? Because what? Okay, you have to? Okay, that's true. Okay, but but where where does that come from? How do you know that you need water, or that you need to make wudu before salat? Well, there's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he said, "لا يقبل الله صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضأ." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Allah does not accept." the prayer of any one of you until he makes wudu, uh, wudu till he washes himself for prayer so that if a person has the minor hadith you know they pass gas they urinate or they defecate then of course they must have wudu so that is the proof is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I encourage myself and you to memorize that hadith and other hadith pertaining to purification. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.